Hey guys, how's it going again? Just going to record another random video. I'm going to record while I'm just doing some work here. I thought it would be kind of a cool idea. Um, <clears throat> I got these old uh, kind of book covers that I made, What God's Word Says. Don't know if any of you have heard, seen my videos before. When I first got saved, I started to write scripture a lot, which I haven't for a while. But, um... And I started out doing, you know, different Bible versions, because I wasn't, I didn't start out, you know, in the King James Bible. But, there's different things that, uh, I probably got a different, couple different books here that I worked on, but, you know, there's different things I looked on websites, like lists of stuff, 100 Truths About Jesus, Jesus Claimed to Be God, and then I, I listed verses here. The first one that I did, though, um, it was... This little Gideon's Bible that uh, my uncle gave me, and it had um, like an index of topics in there, like, um, you know, Bible verses about hope or whatever, and then it listed some verses. And, you know, it had tons of different topics, and then it had different verses listed under each topic. And that's what I started with, was like a topical book where I just wrote all those out. So it was like an easy to go to reference, and also, you know, the scriptures were being memorized in my head. You know, this one starts off with God's love you, and God loves you, and sin separates us from God. Only Jesus can save you. I must, uh, you know, this is probably kind of like a doctrinally one. Maybe I didn't get finished on some of these. I handed out some of them, but... There's different ones that I did, but I mean, yeah, I wrote tons and tons. I did, like, ten books that, like, I finished and, like, handed out and stuff. And then I have tons of other ones that have started or that I didn't finish or whatever I didn't hand out. But, I mean, yeah. I would like to get back into doing this. I said that before. It's really great to write out scripture, and a brother's been sending me scripture in the mail that he's written out, and I really appreciate it. It's a blessing uh, to have that. You know, just like I think that it's cool to have different versions of audio Bibles, I used to have a lot of them downloaded, which I lost when I lost all the information on my hard drive, like over a year or so ago, a couple of years ago now. Of course, I can get it back. It just took time, you know, it's like a year's worth of collecting things, but, you know, there's different people out there, like Mark Hunter, he uh, is like, you know, an English guy. And uh, I'm not saying that, you know, I agree to all his videos or whatever, but he did uh, Bible readings and you know of course there's nothing wrong with that and he has kind of like his English accent so that's kind of cool and then there's David Daniels with Chick Tracks you know he does some Bible readings of the Gospels and it's cool to hear different people you know reading the scripture and you know I love like the dramatized audio Bibles that have the music and the different actors and the uh, the sound effects and it really makes the Bible come to life and um there's that other guy, I can't remember what his name is, uh, James, or Earl Ray Jones, or something like that, you know, he's really famous for his uh, narration, and he did one, and and then there's obviously, uh, you know, I can't even remember the names anymore, this is bad, but there's obviously that, that popular King James reading, I can't remember who that guy is, is it uh, Scorby, or something like that, I don't know. Anyway, it's also a blessing to, to have people's different written out, you know, Bible verses to see their handwriting and, uh, you know, it's personal and it's it's just awesome. So, anyways, I'm going to color these in because I wanted to do these, like, different colors, so I left, you know, I think I actually copied this at the, the church that I used to go to. I copied it in their copier. Um, I remember showing the... Uh, pastor there that I wrote down the scriptures and he really loved this and when I did my testimony and stuff he showed everybody and you know he said you know if anybody wants these uh, I was doing them at the time and you know it's something I haven't done for years that I gave up writing scripture like that and I want to get into it you know once I realized you know I became King James only I wanted I started doing one like in King James only um, you know Bible verses and so and then, you know, I kind of changed positions on different doctrines and stuff, and I started getting more particular, so I just started studying more, and, and, and uh, you know, but I should get into doing this again. But anyways, this one's kind of like a purple marker color. You know, I should do, I don't know if 
if I wanted to do the marker or the colored pencil might have been better, but we'll just go with the marker, I guess. It's already out, so it's fine. So, hopefully the mic's picking this up, being kind of quiet. Thinking that I'm wanting to give away a couple of these, so that's why I'm doing this. And uh, it looks a little bit brighter maybe on the camera than it does in person, actually. I really need to get into doing this. I really suggest writing out scriptures for anybody, you know. And I also just wrote out a bunch of scriptures and had them pinned on the wall for a long time. I hope that halfway through this the marker doesn't dry out. <laughs> I haven't used these markers in forever. I used to make pictures for people at church too, like I framed uh, different Bible verses and I tried to be creative with them, add pictures and stuff, or like glitter if they were for girls or whatever, and I wish I had pictures of those still, but I don't. It's not looking too promising for this marker. I'll do something though, let's figure it out. Maybe I'll just do different colors for each word or something. I'd like to do some stuff like that again. I used to be really into art when I was younger. Probably a lot of people did. I'm not saying that I was really a great artist, but some people did like the stuff that I did. But, you know, my passion is just studying the Bible and stuff now. I'm kind of curious if I even want to do the next word in this marker because it doesn't seem like it's going to last long. So, here's a little box that I have with different markers and stuff. I've got more than this, too, everywhere, but I don't know. Oh, I bet I never used the pink. I'm wanting to give these away to a couple of special people. One's a man and one's a woman, so I guess this one can be for the woman. Let's add some pink there. I think the other color was kind of like a purplish anyways. Then what colors will I do after this? Hmm. So I'm thinking about doing some word studies. I was going to do that today, go over one, and I still might after this. Um... I'm wanting to send these books out, um, well, as soon as possible. Uh, I know I can get one sent out tomorrow, the other, the other one I don't know. Waiting on getting an address, hopefully. Um, I don't know if I have the other person's address. And, you know, if I get, if I get into the routine of, of making these again, then I'll hand them out to anybody who wants them on the website. Just contact me. And, you know, I am looking for more people that would like to be pen pals and stuff, so if you're interested in that, then just go to the website, acceptyoubeconverted.com, and go to the contact page. Send me an email. And let me know. Send me your address. And so, that's a pink, but again, it looks, I mean, it looks kind of darker. I said brighter earlier on the... I mean, I guess you can tell if it looks... What next? I was thinking maybe yellow. It's kind of like a bright color. Yellow and green, maybe. Maybe I should do green next and then yellow. I've got, I've got paints and all kinds of different stuff, too, in another box. So I'll go with this green. I hope it's still good if I have a yellow. I've got the highlighter. I this is good enough. I 
know I've got more markers floating around all over the place. I wonder if I can look at this here. See, here's more stuff that I have. lettering. This is what I used when I did like the Bible verses that I made. This stuff that you can get from Dollar General. This is just a random drawer, but that's probably a lot of used highlighters. I don't know if this yellow is any good still. Uh, that's kind of iffy. Markers might be junk. Here's another yellow. So that was the same one that I just put down. It doesn't look good. Well, these huge markers here. <laughs> I've got paints too. This was a set that my aunt gave me, which I don't know what happened to all those CDs and stuff, if I still have them, but she bought this Excellence in Evangelism training kit. How to present the way that the gospel that Jesus did. And it's by Voice in the Wilderness Ministries. This came with a bunch of DVDs, and, or CDs, I don't even know if there was DVDs, I think it was CDs, maybe some booklets or something. I don't remember a whole lot about that. Here's some paint. <laughs> uh, I do have a laminator, which I was going to laminate these. I've got a paper slicer, because I slice off this, uh, the edges here. Uh, so, um, I might have to use the highlighter for the yellow. I'll just do that. I think I'm going to go green next because this is kind of like a dark light, dark light kind of thing. Hopefully. I mean, the screen might be kind of light colored too, but it doesn't matter. Not what I was planning on, but oh well. It's probably better than just the one solid color. <laughs> but you know, I'm just that's just how I think. It's that kind of plain, I guess. Probably can't hear anything from what I'm saying, I'm sorry if you're watching this and I'm just not being loud enough. I know I probably need to work on the microphone settings too, it probably doesn't sound right. I haven't really taken the time to mess with that experiment yet. Um, so I was talking about doing the word studies, and the word study that I want to do first is on the word carnal. And if I go ahead and talk about that now, then you'll probably repeat, oh, you'll hear me repeat myself when I actually do it. Um, and I'll show you in a second that um, I showed a video recently again just showing different charts and lists and stuff that I have that I want to go over and it's awesome that I have this study room and I have this table with the computer and I have all these organizing racks and I have all this stuff like right in front of me these charts and everything what I also had in front of me was the word study, so I forgot that I put these up here. I was like, what are those papers? And I looked at them again, and these are the word studies. You know, this is the day of the Lord. I printed a lot of these out back in the day because, you know, I didn't know if I was going to have the Internet or a computer always around, and then sometimes it's easier to work on studies that are printed out, you know, to, to make notes and stuff. This is on the tribulation and branches. So there's a lot of different word studies here, prison. The one that I'd like to go over first is the word carnal, because it's only a couple pages. There's not very many verses that contain that word. And that includes, you know, words like carnally or whatever. As long as carnal is the, the basic word that's in there. I think the reason that I printed out the carnal word study is because of the carnal Christian doctrine, which is... <clears throat> uh, basically 